just running an open three inch down pipe. Um, I'll show you guys the rear. I have a Gretty muffler down here, but it's currently Bluetooth as you can see. <laughs> it's not even connected. Um, I do plan on running a full three inch exhaust, but I honestly love how this car sounds. We're about to take it out into the streets of Mexico, get a nice little POV of the car and how it runs. And I'm actually running low on fuel, so I'm gonna pour in some E85. Thank you. I'm almost out. Let's get going. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be bringing you guys along on a couple errands. I need to go get breakfast, I need to go drop off a couple of orders that a lot of you guys have been doing. I also have to go get E85 because the car's pretty much out. And as you guys know, ethanol content fuel is kind of hard to find out here in SoCal. So there is a couple stations you could use an app, um, which I'm looking at right now. So the closest one's around 15 miles away, so we should have enough fuel to get there. But I do want to do like a little point of view drive with the Eclipse. It did just get tuned on E85 and it makes 440 horsepower and 413 torque, which is a really fun car. This thing is insane, guys. Just wait till you hear it right now. So. I'm honestly super hungry guys so I was gonna wait till later to eat it but I'm gonna eat real quick I 
appreciate all you guys that are always buying merch for me and stuff. So, it's a shipment. Let's go. I need some gas. Not too bad. Oh damn, bro, chill. Oh my god, this thing's just dripping, dude. All right, we're good. All right, guys. So I went ahead and got some E85 for the DSM. Uh, I did plan on doing a photo shoot today for Instagram. So let's head out to the photo shoot location. Well then. This thing died on me. DSM life, right? <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on with the car. I'm gonna let it sit for a bit um, and then try to turn it on one more time. If not, we might have to get a tow truck. I can't really be mad at the car. Um, it's probably something that I did wrong, to be honest. I can't really find out what it is right now, but I could either get a tow truck. I'm trying to call a couple friends, see if they were able to bring me some tools because this car will not be able to go on a tow truck. It is too low, even without a lip. I'll have to remove the front bumper and the front mount and enclosure just to get on a tow truck. So. I'll find out what I have to do. I guess no more photo shoot for today, but we're stuck out here. For another reason. Well, it's gonna be like an hour just chilling here, so might as well talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm always getting asked why I like to mess with DSMs and stuff like that because they're always breaking down and they're unreliable and you know, you know the gist. If you know DSMs, you already know how it is. Um, and honestly, I, I, I don't know. It, it builds character over the last eight years that I've had it. All the issues it's given me, I've, I've never given up on it. And it goes to show that if you really stick your mind to something, you can really build something awesome. And you know, this car, you know, it, it looks cool. Um, it gets a lot of attention. It, it, it pops fire. It, it does all these crazy things. It's fast. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not really for that reason. Um, I mainly built this car to kind of prove to myself that if you stick to something, as far as a goal or, a, you know, you have a vision on something, if you stick to it long enough, great things come out of it. And the car is far from done. It is far from done, trust me. There's still a lot left to it. But what I've, able, what I've been able to do in the last eight years with it amazes me, it amazes me. It, it gets so much attention on social media. People love it when they see it on the street. 
and it just goes to show that you know whether you're building cars or you know you're, you're making pottery or whatever you like doing whatever your hobby is if you really stick to it and you're passionate about it and you take action great things can come out of it. you can meet people you can, you can your networking gets bigger um opportunities come um i've been able to meet so many people again so many i've gotten so many opportunities just because of this car this car by itself pretty much and there's a sense of fulfillment and happiness that comes out of that that nothing else can really give you and i'm trying to explain to you guys that and you know it might sound cliche or stupid but if as long as one or two of you guys kind of can relate to me and understand what i'm talking about here um this goes above your base level of thinking um and i'm talking about just doing something you like doing in life and for me it's building cars um you know i'm not the best i uh, i'm not mechanically inclined i know the basics i know how to get by um, but then again, I'm learning and I love doing it. I love filming. I love putting all this stuff on YouTube I'm not doing YouTube just you know get famous or for the money. I'm doing it because I want to archive Me in my 20s building my cars because it was my passion And I want to be able to grow old be 80 years old and basically show my grandchildren what I was doing You know getting stranded in the street in the middle of nowhere and you know many people would be like damn You know screw this car, you know, I'm out here, you know being all negative, but if you see life in a negative aspect, bad things are going to happen to you. But if you're positive, you know, to me, you know, I'm here, I'm having a good time. You know, I'm enjoying nature out here, you know, seeing cars pass by. All of them are looking at me right now, all weird, but I'm holding the camera. What I'm trying to say is be positive, change your mindset. You'll see a lot of things changing your life that way. Two, no matter what happens, no matter what people tell you, if you like doing something, no matter how weird or stupid it might be, stick to it for a long time. Nothing comes easy. It's going to take some time. That's okay. And three is just, you know, don't take life so seriously. Like, seriously, like, all of us are not going to make it out alive out of here. So, you, the whole time that you're here, you might as well, you know, enjoy what you're doing, you know. I get that some of you have school still. Some of you are working. You hate your job. And you're still figuring yourself out. But that's part of life. And that's part of growing and, and eventually finding yourself and, you know, what you love doing. And somehow monetizing that to, you know, basically fulfill your life into a much more happy state. And... And be able to enjoy, you know, the little things, I guess you can say. You know, everything in this world is kind of materialistic and it's kind of sad to see. But once you see above that and you see that there's more to it. And at the same time, it's something so small and something right in front of you that you can't see it. it it's crazy. It's, it's a complete awakening. So. I want to thank you guys anyways for watching, for sticking along. And, you know, appreciate the support. This one, let's just wait for the tow truck. Um, hopefully, you could get it on the tow truck because the car is super low. I hate putting my cars on tow trucks. But... It ain't nothing new, so once he gets here, we'll see what's up and we'll see what happens. There we go. Luckily, they had tools, so I went ahead and removed the bumper and got the front mount loose. Full VIP service, huh? Full VIP. <laughs> Damn. All right, so she's pretty much up here. I'll see you guys when we get home. All right, guys, so I've been out since like 10 in the morning. It's currently like almost 6. The sun is almost like setting. But I do enjoy making these type of videos. Um, this is nothing new to me, so you know I'm not really stressed about it. I'm pretty much gonna end the video here. I mean, there's not much left to do but to fix the car. Um, it's already kind of late. I'm really tired, honestly. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day besides the burrito in the morning. Um, so I'll end the video here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next one.